on, I can see occupiers inside. So the people in this section are being given information about what the next step is going to be. And I've been asked not to repeat it, but just to let everyone know that we are we are planning something. I want to thank everybody who's who's watching. This is this is history. This is really important. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Is there any interest? Is there, is there any interest in holding a GA? In holding a GA. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. If so. If so. Twinkle. Twinkle. So for those of you watching, every time the stream cuts out, it's a phone call. So I'm streaming from my uh, from my phone. So if someone is is proposing that we form a GA right here in the center of Broadway and Pine, in the intersection. For those of you who had been watching earlier, you may have seen the conversation I had with Officer Villanueva, who. Well, you know, he was on the side of the NYPD, and the point I tried making to him is that we all live in bubbles, that the people out here only see, you know, the people on that side, and the people on, on the NYPD side only see what, what's going on with them. He did he did acknowledge that the system is, is broken, that protests, the, the, the general protests have failed, that elected officials have failed, that Congress's approval rating is at record lows, that, you know, the Tea Party tried getting their officials in, and that didn't work either. But he just didn't want to see anyone get hurt, and I, I sympathize with that. At the same time, we need we need the police to help us. The police need to serve and protect us when we stand up against the problems that are facing our society. stream goes down, I'm still able to see the uh, chat feed, so if any problems happen with audio, video, or the stream, just uh, chat, let me know, and I, I will bring it back up. For those of you wondering about battery, allow me to introduce you the poet to the uh, Energizer 18,000 mAh battery. Time zero four zero one hours. SOD radio frequency. About ten ten batteries inside of it, essentially. Uh, ten ten general cell phone, you know. So someone just yelled about gathering. So you say you want a revolution. So why are you out here with your revolution? You must be with your 99% of the budget state. This stream will stay up. If it goes down, I will bring it back up. Stay with us. There are a few people having a general I'm going to try to go around and see what the word is. Gentlemen sitting up here. Who's pretty attentive? Paul. 
We got Mr. Luke Radowski just in front of me from We Are Change. Excuse me. What's going on, man? This is uh, my friend Monica. She's. Yes, yes. I have a picture. I tweeted it. If it hits you, just lay down. Are they talking about No. Because you won't. Because you won't be able to do. Be able to do anything else. Anything else. Don't lay down. The stupid thing you do is a sound laser weapon, dude. I, I faced that at the G20. You don't want to. You don't want to lay down. You want to move to the side. It's a laser weapon that goes directly straight. Move to the side of it. So are they bringing the L right up here? They already had the L right. I was in there. Are you filming me? Live stream. I was. You stream. I'm sorry. I was in there. Right as everything was going down, right as the rest were going down, a couple minutes ago, they just physically grabbed me out of there and kicked me out of there. Uh, I got video footage of a police officer stopping, responding, and punching people. It's going to be on YouTube.com for a We are changed. As soon as I get home, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, but three LRADs I saw, different locations set on the side. They were having technical difficulties. But they didn't have to we saw police on the whole like this. They didn't use a full blast. Shut up! Shut up! But they did use it uh, to uh, amplify their message. It's very loud and annoying. You couldn't hear anything uh, except for that damn LRAD going off. So the LRAD was used. They had this mega bus that looked like it was from Star Trek that pulled up inside the park and was right near the protesters that came out with all these satellites and all these crazy beings. Yeah, Seriously, it. stars, 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 stars. We have a general assembly. Can we, can we send a GM? It's a real GM happening right now. I thought the real GM was here. I know, but it's a group of people communicating. Stop interrupting us. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, <laughs> we're friends, it's my bro, but we're doing a general assembly with a lot of consensus. What I'm hearing is I walked over here because I heard some people are at Wall Street, some people are at Police Square. I know Micah Moore tweeted that everybody I should go to Police Square and occupy Police Square. But uh, I was there from the beginning all the way to the very last time that I could be. And I was really surprised to sneak attack police officers first blocked off the side streets from all along the area. All around the entire area, just like you see here blocked off. They first blocked that off. Then they brought in their emergency SUV vehicles with the lights and they surrounded the park and police officers surrounded the park. Then they started handing out pieces of paper saying your property will be available uh, to be picked up at the sanitation office. But that's bull crap because we just got video of them taking all of the people's belongings and throwing them in garbage trucks right now. Okay. Uh, actually, right right now, I can actually see uh, a garbage truck. Yeah, you zoom in on the evidence. Yeah, and this was, no, I already have, I already have everything up video up close. I literally was in there. I literally, I literally, the officer said, said, get out of here. I moved to the right side. Literally, instead of arresting me, they grabbed me uh, by my strap on my foot bag and started pushing me out of there. They didn't want to arrest me, obviously, because I'm a member of the press. They literally physically shoved me. I asked them to calm down. And uh, I tried to stick around as much as I could, and I, I at least got the video of them pouncing on people. There were still a lot more people there, about 100 people left, about 150 in total, to be completely honest with you. Uh, and they just, what they did is, they encircled, and then they came closer and closer, destroyed everybody's stats, everybody's property, everything that has been built for the last almost three months now. Destroyed everything, threw it in garbage dumps, squished it. Once they had a clear area, that's when they brought in the truck, that's when they cop and circle everybody and pretty much waited about an hour to two hours. Uh, and just waited and stared everybody down. Uh, there was, there was six, people, six people inside who actually like locked bike chains around their neck. So they put a bike chain, bike chain around their neck, six of them all together. So if the cops moved them, they would break their neck. Yeah. And they were very violent. They weren't like handed. At for the first uh, what was it? They came in at one. At three, they started everything. So for the first two hours, they were very diplomatic. Then they started kicking out more and more press. Now, uh, luckily, I was never given a warning, but uh, the New York Post, New York Times, all the major news publications, DCPDI, DCPDI, which is the NYPD's press office, came to them individually inside the kitchen and said, you guys have to leave, or you will be arrested, and we will take away your press pass. Uh, and luckily, I have a DCPD press pass. 
and uh, I'm not under the same jurisdiction, even though I'm an official member of the press, according to the Metropolitan Police Department. Now, uh, I had I, I told the journalists like, why are you guys leaving? And they said if I lose my uh, NYPD press badge, I lose my job. And I can't do this. And they were forced. They didn't want to leave, but they were forced. Uh, I don't know. Donald, they have no, they have no passport. The amount of light that was shined on everybody it was broad daylight inside Occupy Wall Street. Uh, literally about you can 20, see it. 20 major settings of light. Uh, I was very lucky to be there. I was very lucky not to get beat up. And uh, Here we go. We got a garbage truck trying to come through right now. We got two. Two garbage trucks with people's personal belongings, bikes, uh, clothing, tents. Everything that they're calling, they're calling people to the front lines right now. Garbage trucks are attempting to get out. So that's uh, YouTube.com slash we are changed. YouTube.com forward slash we are changed video will be up as soon as I get home. Media, get up front. Make room for media. Media, video. Media is video. All right, so we've got we've got a, a, a garbage truck now in front of us, the one we saw earlier. And it looks like they're trying to get out. And the protesters, uh, the occupiers of Wall Street, are now gathering around. It looks like the truck is going to attempt to turn around. Wall here have decided to what appears to be hold this uh, the street as it's a strategic location they said it's not that strategic because uh, the other street down the street is only wide open and the garbage truck is simply going to back up all the tanks simply i'm going to try it the nypd officers here are in plain clothes not in riot gear the police officers at zuccotti park they don't have riot shields they don't want another all the enforcements right now are still at Zuccotti Park, the major numbers of police officers. Now, when those police officers are done arresting the about 150 people who stayed down there, what they're going to do is come back here and try to evict everybody. But now, I think their first attempt is going to be in Foley Square. I'm going to Foley Square. I want to so for those of you watching, send out the, the URL to everyone you know. We're live at Zuccotti Park, just outside on Broadway and Pine. Our URL is Ustream, the letter U, stream.tv slash the other 99. The other 99. Where it's at. Okay. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Is it some people that the marchers are coming here, supposedly? I don't know if that's true or not. Well, we can take it. Sure. I'm going to try to find the GA. 
So we're hearing rumors now that marches are headed this way. Now earlier, Michael Moore tweeted out that everyone should gather at Forest Square. I'm here on Broadway in time. There's a bunch of people there with stories that can give you their story when they were on the inside. We have some accounts. We have someone on the phone give their accounts. I'm people standing at the fence have pressed for some accounts. It's good to as many of them have a real feel. Alright, I'm heading to the fence to try and find people who have uh, first person accounts. Excuse me. How's it going? You have a. Uh, you want to tell us what happened? You're inside. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was stuck in here at that end of the park, um, and I decided to stay here because if I leave here, I can go back in and people get to talk to me. One o seven sergeant calling level one mobilization regarding confirmed ten thirty minutes. What do you want to know? What happened? Yeah, yeah, tell me what. Tell me. Well, tell me what you saw. Do you see like anything crazy?